Hello, this is the next video in a playlist that I'm calling Miscellaneous. And here, this is a riddle that a friend forwarded to me. His name is Chris Colonna, good friend, great wrestling coach. But the riddle goes like this. The wife leaves a note for the husband saying, here's my ATM card, Taking, take it shopping with you today, spend as much as you like, Invite some friends, take them to dinner, put it all on the card. And here's the pin code. And then they give this <laughs> calculus problem to solve to find the pin code. And so that's what this video is about, is solving this problem to find the pin code. So first we're going to complete the square in the denominator and we come up with this. Now, we're going to factor out a one-half, which then, you know, when you divide by half, it gets, you know, take the reciprocal and multiply. That's what that two is. Notice the numerator is the same. And there's a square root. So when we factor out a one-fourth, it comes out as a one-half, and that's why that two. But then this is... Uh, is this 2x minus 3 squared minus 1. Now let's do a variable transformation and let u equal this 2x minus 3. Then the derivative du is equal to 2 dx and then if we back solve for x here we get x is equal to 1 half u plus 3 and we're doing that because we're going to plug it in or you know back into the equation. If you square x, you get this quantity, and you plug it in, you know, for x squared. And if you cube it, you get this quantity and plug it back in. So that's what this step is. And then we collected like terms, right? And this is u. Yep. Now, you know, and based on the fraction, you know, we have a one eighth out front. The two went away. Um, now we want to do another variable change, a trigonometric change. Let's let u equal the secant of w. That means du is equal to the derivative of secant of w, which is secant of w times tangent of w dw. Now I have a video called derivatives of inverse trig functions and trig functions which which goes over this derivation in great detail. Now, we make this the substitutions, right? So if we put secant of w here, we get secant cubed of w and so forth in the numerator. Here we get secant squared w, right? And then du is equal to this, so we we plug it in the formula. And to transform this, remember these are in the u world. So if u is 1, then w is the arc secant of minus 1, I guess. Right? And that's, that's how we get these limits here. Yep. And, and actually notice the transformation of 0 to 1 goes from minus 3 to 1. So now we're here. Um, we use a, a trig identity. Secant squared minus 1 is tangent squared. And so the square root of tangent squared is just tangent. And that cancels with one of these. And then this secant, let's multiply into each term. And that's what we get here. Now, the integral is a linear operator so we can evaluate this evaluate this you know each term individually and to do that notice the signal the fourth signal the third I have a video and if and if you uh, search this on YouTube you'll find it but it's called useful trig integral secant power reduction so which deals with taking the integral of these and so in the interest of time I'm going to skip that and if you're interested you can go watch that 
So then this term, so we come down, uh, this evaluates to this, the three out front, and then the secant of the fourth evaluates to this. 25 secant cubed evaluates to this long term. And then secant squared is just actually tangent, 77. And secant W evaluates to this. It's the natural log of this. No, and, and there's an absolute value sign in there because it has to be positive. And then we evaluated it each of these terms, arc secant of minus 1 and arc secant of minus 3. And you, you, know, you plug this in for W and then minus and then plug this in, you know, and that's it. That's the that's the answer. But I want to take it a few more steps. So first of all, I'm going to try to combine like terms. So we have the log of this, and it's that's the same. That's by itself. Oh, we can combine these, and that's by itself. So the next step combines those terms. So this is the exact same equation, but you know, with like terms combined, still evaluating at, at arc secant. But let's undo it back one step to the U world. So if we let, you know, and to undo that, we let U equal secant of W. So that means W is the arc secant of U, right? That's the inverse. Now, if we look in here, so, so we have like secant of W, we can plug in u now. So we need something for tangent of w. So tangent of w, and we use the identity that um, tangent squared is equal to secant squared minus 1. So, But we take the square root of both sides, so that's this. But secant of w, so if we plug in w, so arc secant. So it's the secant of the arc secant of u, which is just u. And then it's squared. So this is a term for the tangent of W. So now we start plugging those values in. So tangent of W is this, but it's cubed. So that's where we get the U squared minus 1 raised to 3 halves power. 25 over 2, secant of W is, is U. Tangent is this. We have 80 times the tangent. And then we have, you know, 135 over 2 times the natural log of the tangent. So we plug this in, and that's u. But we also go backwards on the limits of evaluation. So we want them back in the u world, and so it becomes minus 1 and minus 3. Now let's transform it or undo it one more level to the x world, and that's what we started with. So to untransform it, we let... You know, this was, you know, u equal to 2x minus 3. So wherever there's a u, we're going to plug in 2x minus 3. So 2x minus 3 squared, right there. You know, u and then u squared, u squared, you know, u squared in that under the radical, and that's a u, okay? And then these get unfolded to back to one or zero and one. Now, when you plug in one to each of these terms, it actually it this whole equation becomes zero. So plug in one, you get two minus three, which is minus one squared, which is one. One minus one is zero. Zero raised to a power zero, and you can do that for each term, and it evaluates to zero. Then we take, then we evaluate zero, so it's minus, then we evaluate each term at zero, and these are the terms that we get. I'm going to let you do the math. Then, to evaluate this, we get this, minus 2.98126694, blah, 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 blah. So, if your PIN code is four digits, I would guess that the pin code is 2981 but in reality I would speculate that this is was just a fun problem <laughs> you know not not meant to be solved in reality 
So anyway, that's my solution to the uh, viral ATM pin code riddle. So hope you enjoyed this. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.